So one of the issues with this collision is that right now we cannot walk uh, up to a table and lean over it. So just to illustrate that. If we hit play and teleport over here and get very close and let's say I wanted to get something on the other side here. So what will happen is that my capsule is going to collide and doesn't allow me to lean over this table here, uh, this box here. So let's start off by um, redoing some of the collision logic in order to see if we can fix this. So it's going to take a few videos to get to a solution for this, or at least the, the solution that I chose. So I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but this is the way I chose to do it. So in the event tech, we have this update room scale position and update actor position. So the, the reason why we're getting pushed back is because the collision capsule is colliding with that table here. So that is also being uh, updated afterwards. So that will seem like you're being pushed back. So we can disconnect this to begin with and move it over here. So we're also going to create a new custom event and call this event tick check update actor position. So we're also going to change the name down here because it's not necessarily going to be done on tick. So it's only going to be uh, executed whenever we want it to. So we're going to call this new function instead. Custom event update check update actor position instead. So I actually need, need a little space for this. So the way I chose to do this, and I'm not saying this is the best way, but it kind of works. So I'm just going to show how I did that. Uh, is by using a sphere trace by channel. So fire off a sphere trace by channel here. And that is going to have the same size as, or the radius is going to be the same radius as our capsule right so the position is going to come from our actor uh, location which is if you remember uh, is the bottom here uh, where the camera is so we need to offset that because we need a trace going from the top here to the bottom of the capsule. So in order to get that, we're going to add in the a vector consisting of the half height of the capsule. And we also need this to be offset by the room scale position. So this this uh, get actor position is going to be maybe the middle of the room here. But since we are moving around in the room, this is uh, the position of the capsule is going to be different from the actual actor position. So we need to get that offset by getting the HMD um, position and orientation. So we break that up and then we create a vector. So we take the X and the Y from here and then we get the height from the capsule half height here. So this is going to be our offset position and then we need to offset it up and down. So we're going to first plus a vector and then we're going to minus a vector. So these two go in here and here. So the directions are going to come from the capsule half height. So we're going to subtract the half height here. And we're going to subtract the radius. The reason why I'm subtracting the radius is because 
if we look at the trace point here, that is going to be up here, and we need it only to trace from the the radius point, which is going to be here. So it's going to fit exactly here, and also to the bottom here. Otherwise, it's going to go all the way a little bit down. So if we just make a little bit more space, we can split this up here and say I want to plus this and want to minus this so if we turn off visibility for the trace and take a look at how it's, it's behaving we can see that actually we wouldn't expect it to hit here because we set it up like we did but the reason for that is that uh, the capsule radius is going to go exactly to the bottom of the capsule so we actually need to add in a little extra something here so just so that it doesn't uh, exactly hit at the bottom so adding three centimeters and then it doesn't hit anymore so this is going to give us uh, the trace and then we can do a check here if it hits and if it doesn't hit if it does hit then we don't want to update our active position, but if we do uh, don't hit, then we do want to. So if we take a look at now, we can see now we can actually walk into the table, and once we move out again, we can see that it's actually offset a little bit, and might have noticed that when I step in here and keep walking, I can actually keep walking and the collision capsule is going to be here. So once I move away, that is going to move away from me. So what happens when I step out of the, the table is that I'm going to be teleported to that position of the capsule. So that doesn't really work exactly as I want it to. So let's also solve that. So we know we will have when we will have a, an initial hit, and that is, uh, or when we are having a hit here. So what we we only want to update that actor position if we're just walking around, but if we are already inside something, then we don't want to. Um, once we we are not uh, hitting it anymore then we don't want to snap to that active, um, or capsule position. We, we actually want the capsule to snap to the camera position. So we need a way of tracking that. So I'm going to introduce a new variable to keep track of that, which I will call capsule hit, which is going to be a Boolean. And I'm going to set that up here to be true. And down here, we're going to actually check if that is true or not so if we are already hitting but the trace does not hit anymore that means that we just exited something that we were in um, intersecting that could be a wall or a table or anything um, so if that wasn't true before then we can safely assume that we're just walking around and we can just update our actor position but in case uh, we were overlapping something, then we actually need to set the capsule's position. This one. And the location we need to set it to is going to be derived from the camera position. And we're going to get also, uh, we're going to make a vector out of this because we also need in uh, the height because the, the cameras can, can be at various heights here. So, oops. So the X and the Y is going to come from here and the 
height that we want to set, we can get from the actor position or actual location. And we need to add again in the, the height for this. So let's add in, uh, yeah, let's do it this way. So we're going to split this one and then also split this one. So we need the actual location because it can be, we can could be standing on, on top of something. So we need that also. And then we need to get the capsule half height. And add on to that. And then set the C and plug that in here. So this is going to give us a new capsule position. And then we need to finally set the actor position as well. So this actually needs to go in here. And we also need to set the capsule hit. So we don't forget that to be false. So let's add a reroute node for this. As you can see, uh, when I walk in here, the capsule stays outside. Once I exit the wall, the capsule snaps back to my position. I'm not getting teleported out. Unfortunately, it also allows me to do things like walk all the way into the table and if I had some more space, I could continue to the other side here, something like this. And obviously we don't want it, that to happen. So also a problem with this is that it allows us to do things like this. So if you wanted our player not to bypass a corner like this, we could actually do that. These are just some of the things that we haven't handled yet and I'm going to continue in the next video and talk about how we can solve that and at least the way I decided to do it. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.